It's pure fiction. Check out the physical music. We were always fascinated by electronic music. We're, we're kids of the 80s. Presento Buca Shay Shay Shay. actually started with the songwriting while we were on tour. Um, we worked on the album for the last 15 months. We are writing music every day. So a lot of the songwriting had to be done while we were on the road. We had so many experiences on tour that we just wanted to, to keep that in music. We always had a laptop with us, uh, you know, sometimes in hotel rooms. Um, and, and, you know, worked on, on basic ideas. Uh, when you listen to a track like Coma Cabana, it was really a low point and um, it, it was really written at the Copacabana in a hotel room so the sun was shining and uh, to write a song like that which is so so dark um, you can imagine in which state of mind I was at that time but on the other hand you have also a track or a song like, like, like Charlotte which is very positive uh, we had a high, we had a very great show and um, so beautiful traveling experiences and then you're writing a song like that so that's why you have both sides on the album most of the recordings were done then when we came back to the studio this is a stylophone and it's a very old instrument i think it's from the end of the 60s and i'm quite sure that they used it for science fiction films old movies and you can use this pen just to play these little tones One person that's very important for the visual side of Book of Shade uh, is Eike König from Eike's Grafischer Hort. We always loved his style, the, the way he, he approaches uh, music and, and you know works on artworks. And uh, when we first started with Book of Shade, the first guy we wanted to have for the artwork was Eike and we worked together ever since. He's always surprising us with new ideas. And he's coming up with this crazy stuff that he's projecting our faces on the elements of our logo. And this is great about Ike, so we, we love him. He's a very good art director. So, uh, this is the original accordion from uh, our biggest dance hit so far from Heater. So I traveled around the world. It's not a fake. And we just found it at the director's place and now played with it on the, uh, on the album. There's a song for my son on the album. At that time I was very often at home because um, he was just born. And he was a lot of, yeah, I slept a lot and I was sitting beside him, but I wanted to work and I just wanted to write music at that time because it was so emotional that I felt that I can write something very special in that mood. So I was sitting beside him with my little keyboard. It was very calm you know, because he was just sleeping and you just could listen to my little clack, clack, clack from the keys of the keyboard, you know. And it was a very, very personal and special um, moment for me to write this. <laughs> We had this song Outskirts and uh, it was written with strings, with um, synthetic strings. And we said, okay, we have to do this with a real orchestra. When 
we started the Get Physical label in 2002, it was basically meant to be like a hobby for everybody to release music that he likes and uh, we thought that wasn't out there at the time. Now in the meantime, um, it became it became a real business and uh, it became a big company. We have really a lot of people working there and we're very happy that we found a good setup and a good uh, team of people uh, that take a lot of our our work and, and take care of this and and have the have the label running while everybody is on tour. You know, also the, the Mandy guys are traveling a lot. DJT is traveling a lot. Everybody's somewhere in the world, and you want to have somebody in the office who looks after not only your own releases but also other people's releases because uh, you know we have. We're in the lucky position that we now have a lot of really good artists who trust us and give us their music, you know, to release it. love electronic music but we also wanted to try out more acoustic elements and this ambivalence you know loving electronic music but also loving acoustic elements and joining them bringing them together um, this this also refers to to the name Sun and the Neon Light. So the last 15 months we just talked about this theme is it too much is it too far away from the rest but we couldn't copy ourselves anymore so so just to do another movements album it didn't make any sense for us. I think it's good to surprise people. Mm -hmm. 